Hi, beautiful guys, gals. Just my me being friendly in in cheap terms. So, hope you're all doing well. So, wanted to, I wanted to talk with you about God comes to me on my own terms only. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm not being judgmental. And, and I'm sure God isn't being judgmental as well. But when we when we when we start saying things like this is gonna happen on my on my on my own terms, I'm gonna do this on my terms and I'm gonna get what I want on my terms. You know, not not if if we look around the world, not everyone gets things on their on their on their own terms. The world is in chaos on a yearly basis. There's poor people. There's always going to be poor people. People are sick. People are unwell, mentally, physically, psychologically, and in and, and any other kind of human, any any kind of any other kind of human way. Somebody cheating on somebody, somebody misunderstanding and cheating on another person. All sorts of chaos. A cruel world we're living in. Not even now, and in and also in the future. So when we start saying that. You know, God comes to, I, I come to God, I become a Christian on, 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 on my terms only, not on God's terms. You know, I could, I could lay, I could, I could, I could lay before myself the Ten Commandments and say, you know, you could come to God on God's terms, but it's not about God's terms. It's not about God's terms because... You know, God doesn't change like the Bible says, nor does the devil. And there's no middle ground, and ever there, there never will be. If so, if someone says I want to do my own thing, my own independent thing, no, no help, nothing. I want to do things without God. That's 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 still working. Sorry to give you the bad news, but that's still that's still working independently, for, independently away from God. And just and just encouraging the devil. I apologize if I'm offending anyone, but I can't make this any nicer. So So what it is is that you know Oh, I lost my train of thought. So, with all of that said and done, you know, and with the devil as well, there's, there's, like I said, with those grounds, if we, if we come, come on our, on our own terms, we, we won't be, we won't be all that happy. And I'm sure, I'm sure, uh, and, and even if we, we, we do come to, to God on our, on our own terms, eventually there, it gets to a point where we're just going to get fed up and, and just be unhappy and be, be not content with what, with ourselves. So, and, 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 and. Even when we come to God's to come in God's terms, it's not it's not by force. God is not forcing forcing us to choose for us to choose Him. It's it's we we've always got to open the door towards God. So in actual fact, we are we are coming to God on our own terms, but but it's on our own terms as we we let God in we let God into our own lives God God makes a move first and and and, and always makes a move first but then he but then he, he, he God speaks to us through our emotions and then that's where when we experience God in in our in our bodies and feel God's presence the Lord's presence that's when we we when we let that door open 
in in our lives towards God towards the Lord Jesus Christ and so if I don't make any sense then I don't I, stick with me just hold on to the very end so like I said like I said if we yeah, I said that already. You're probably wondering why, why, why have I, why have I got this mentality, or why have I, am I, am I thinking that you know I'm going to come to God, come to Christianity on my own terms? It's just not everybody can understand. Not everybody can can understand ourselves. Not all the time we can we, we can understand our own decisions. Sometimes we can, and sometimes it's it's so far gone we can't. We can't we can't remember exactly what we did and why we did it and so God so the reason why we can't understand it in the past from the past and so far behind is because it's, it it's it, it, and, and also why we can't understand how what why we can't understand people's other people's motives as well is also it's just you know what we have to understand is that in 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 spite of everything that's that's going on in the world and 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 our frustration of life god is god is god still remains con remains in control of our lives even though we come to god in, on our own terms god still remains in control even even without us knowing it because the, the the devil controls sorry god controls the devil so this is god's hand and this is the devil with his finger wrapped around with god's finger with the devil's finger wrapped with devil with the devil wrapped around god's finger i said that kind of that similar similar scenario before yeah mm -hmm. so like i said as well we're not going to always be happy when, when we when we try out try try christianity on our own terms we'll get frustrated fed up bored and we'll not feel we, we, we want to give it up but it's the case of letting god Letting God give, letting letting God's time, let, letting letting God's time impact us, and waiting on waiting on God to 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 show Himself to us. And sometimes we might not we might not be ready. So. So. So if you still don't understand me, so let me do, let me just pray pray with you for an understanding, if you don't mind. So Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace and mercy that you put upon us. Thank you for past, present, and future. Help us to understand your God, your grace and mercy, that you that you're able to help us in in times that where we where we feel where we can't understand where we can't understand your God or or, or understand you, Lord Jesus. Pray grace and mercy upon our situation in the blood of Jesus. I plead for Jesus Christ in our situation. I pray for healing and understanding, O oh God, in our minds and hearts and in our spirit. Pray you you'll move it, move in our situation. Whatever frustration we are going through, whatever anger we are going through, O oh God, help us help us, O oh God, to let our minds go and be free in you, for there is freedom in Christ. Help us to be free, free in our in our bodies and minds, in our in our bodies and minds and spirits, O oh Lord, O oh God. Pray, pray that you heal us and make us whole, O oh God, to, and and back to our original form, where we were once many years before, and and continue to renew renew us daily, O oh God, in the blood of Jesus. I pray your anointing fall upon our situation. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Take care. Bye for now.